Welcome to the fifth module of the micro-learning course on marketing, which is designed to help you get a better understanding of marketing in bite-sized chunks. This module is about using the well-known Blue Ocean Strategy Analysis to determine how you can redefine your marketing strategy. Ideally, you will have worked through the previous four micro-learning modules, as some of the information you collated will be needed in this module. By the end of the module, you should be able to use the technique to compare your key competing features with your competitors and identify how you can stand out from the crowd. At the end of the module, you will be given a list of actions so that you can do your own analysis. The results will then lay the foundations for your future marketing strategy. Over the years, I have been introduced to approaches to strategy by world-leading consultants Along with Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why, Blue Ocean Strategy by Chan Kim and Rene Mauborn was a game changer for me. The process described in the book is a proven step-by-step -step process on how you can develop a strategy that will allow you to change the basis of competition whilst improving profitability. By following the process, you should be able to identify how you can create uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant. It all starts with redefining the market. On one side, you have the red ocean, which is all about competing in existing markets. This is where you spend your time trying to beat the competition, exploiting existing demand, making a value cost trade-off and making a strategic choice between differentiating and charging more. Or it's the race to the bottom by making your solution a low-cost option. Then, on the other side, you have the blue ocean. On this side, you create uncontested market space. Make your competition irrelevant. Create and capture new demand. Break the value cost trade-off. And align your whole system to be both differentiated and low-cost. Now let's take a look at some of the details of how you can adopt the Blue Ocean strategy for your business. To start the process, we will look at value innovation, a vital element of the Blue Ocean strategy. This is all about delivering products or services that are designed to differentiate from other solutions while being relatively low cost. In the model, cost savings are made by eliminating and reducing the factors an industry competes on. You can then lift buyer value by creating elements your industry has never offered. Southwest Airlines and EasyJet are prime examples of this uh, as they led the way for low-cost airlines. So how do we create value? Blue Ocean Strategy introduces the concept of the Four Actions Framework. The Four Action Framework points out four key factors to take into account in order to refine existing products. These are raise, reduce, eliminate and create. This feeds into value innovation because you can use these categories to plot your products or services in your marketplace against your company's ability to provide value and be competitive over time. So ask yourself, which factors should be raised well above your industry's standard? Which factors should be created that your industry has never offered that customers would be willing to pay for? which factors are no longer needed by your customers so that you can reduce them well below your industry standards, which factors that your industry has long competed on can now be eliminated. To figure out how you answer these questions, you can use a standard spreadsheet. In it, you have a list of key features running down the left-hand side of the sheet. Along the top, you have your company as well as your competitors. The features on your sheet are the factors that you and your competitors are competing on. Then, give yourself and your competitors a score between 1 and 100 for how well each feature meets the needs of your customers. Please be honest with yourself. It's unlikely you will be 100% at everything and that your competitors are really bad at everything. The more honest you can be, the better the analysis. This is where you can spot gaps in the market. This is where you ask yourself which factors can be raised, reduced, eliminated and created. From that, you can then create a strategy canvas. The strategy canvas 
is a way of displaying the numbers you have entered into the spreadsheet. It's a graphical representation and is designed to highlight where the differences are. Along the bottom of your strategy canvas, which is your x-axis, you have your competing factors. Your 0 to 100 score analysis of your offering goes up the side, which is the y-axis. Here you can plot the average score of your competitors on each feature, as well as your own score, giving you two fundamental curves. If your curve matches the industry curves, this is where you need to do the next stage in the process. Innovation. Because you have two separate curves in front of you, you don't have to just blindly innovate and hope for the best. Instead, you can use the curves as an indication of what you need to improve and develop in order to stand out. The final step is to begin realising your strategy. There are four parts to this, including your existing strategy curve, your competing factors review, your future state strategy curve, and identifying projects to move to a new strategy. For the existing strategy curve, you need to compare your business with competitors by drawing your as-is strategy curve. See where your strategy needs to change in order to differentiate yourself and better meet the needs of the customer. Then, as part of your competing factors review, observe the distinctive advantages of alternative products and services. Identify which factors you should eliminate, reduce, raise, create or change. Then you can draw your future state strategy curve based on insights from your field observations. You can get feedback from customers, competitors, customers and non-customers and then use the feedback to build the best to be future strategy. Finally, identify projects that will move your business to close to what the customer needs and provide increased differentiation. You can implement this using Agile so your new strategy can be implemented quickly with lower risk. If you do all this, you'll begin to build a clear picture of how you can differentiate yourself from competitors while adding more value and functionality for your customers. If your competitors are also watching what you are doing, they'll eventually begin to catch up. So this review is something that you'll need to repeat every few years to ensure that you stay ahead of the game. Now that I've covered the different activities you can complete as part of your Blue Ocean strategy, let's run through the full checklist. List all the key features that you currently provide. List the key features of your top three competitors. Create a spreadsheet with the key features for yourself and each competitor and assign a score between 1 and 100 of how well each feature meets a customer's requirements. Create a graph with all four strategy curves on. Review all this information with your team. Finally, use this information to identify how you can improve what you supply to better meet your customers' needs and differentiate yourself in the process. If you would like help with getting your marketing on track, we have more free courses at hub.vision2, success.co forward slash courses.